good morning, good morning, guys. Guess what? We're getting ready to do some shopping. Yeah, that's right. So, let's go get some shopping done. Good morning to you guys. Welcome in. Here we go, guys. We are now at Superstore. Look at that. This is where we go shopping. Let's go in and uh, see what kind of goodies we can come up with today, right? And it looks like it's a little bit moisture in the air it looks like we got very light light stuff falling but oh well anyways let's go in and do some shopping all right guys here we are shopping and it wouldn't be a shopping day without looking at some chocolate chips would it Ooh, look at that ay, ay, ay. there is some goodies in here that's for sure anyways we already got some uh some bread, some cheese, we got some uh, some sandwich uh, meat there. So that's gonna go come with me in the truck and then uh, we're gonna be eating some sandwiches this trip. That's for sure. You finding any good chocolate chips? I hope, yeah. it's also expensive. No, I know, everything is expensive. Anyhow, I guess you use it for uh, making them cakes and stuff, eh? Yeah. yeah. This is actually really nice. You can buy it by the pound over here or whatever, right? That's the cheapest way. <laughs> yeah, Still cheapest way. Well, in Canada, it's kilograms, but anyways, they got all kinds of goodies alongside here. So yeah, look at that, more chocolate right there. Anyways, let's finish doing our shopping and call in and find out if we got a load yet. We didn't get a load yesterday, so, or for today's yet so far. I'm supposed to call back at 10 so let's see what happens all right guys we just finished doing our shopping here we got our couple of bags full of groceries here so now we got to go home and call the company and see if we've gotten a reload yet and all that good stuff and uh yeah, i figure i stock up on the food a little bit in the truck so we don't have to buy stuff in a restaurant right it's quite expensive all right guys we have made it back home from shopping and so it's time to get ready to have a snack. The wife is uh, cooking something here. She is cooking empanadas. That's what they're called. Yeah, look at that. They're getting fried and what they have inside is meat, all kinds of stuff, right? Onions possibly. No, no, no onions? Eggs. All right. Mostly meat and eggs. Mostly meat and eggs, yeah. So, yeah, we still didn't get a load yet. Uh, he told me to give him a call back later this afternoon. So, anyways, let's have us a good bite to eat here in a minute. All right, guys, we have finally gotten a load. Yeah, well, it's not on our truck yet, but we have to go Bob Taylor down to Winnipeg Terminal. To go pick it up for 5 p.m. this evening. So yeah, I kind of, I don't really like going out this late in the day, you know. But hey, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Now I got a bobtail into Winnipeg and try and get out of here, right? Oh well. Anyways, we got light flurries going on right now. Yeah, and I have to bobtail, right? So we got no weight on the uh, on the drives, so it's going to be pretty slick, possibly, not necessarily, possibly, right? We'll see how it goes, but anyways, here we go. Now our day of driving begins. Yep. Anyways. We got about an hour worth of driving to do till we get to Winnipeg, so uh, in 100 meters, turn left on we'll go on 12. down over there and uh, hopefully our, our load is ready, ready to go. This time I was lucky the truck was uh, nicely washed. I didn't think it was going to be washed this early, uh, but it was. It fixed my license plate in the back there, on the back of the truck there at the... Uh, License plate, I guess one of the bolts come loose and uh, my license plate was getting ready to fall off. So I wrote it down and 
Sure enough, all of that is fixed. We are good to go, back in business. And my truck was parked inside the shop. So it was, uh, you know, fairly decent warm, I guess you could say. Let's get over here. Yeah, he wants to turn anyways. Yep, I mean, the truck is still cold. The engine and all of that, but uh, continue on this road for 20 kilometers. Other than that, we are good to go. We are well. I don't know if they really filled it up all the way with fuel, but normally they do, and I got a full tank of death. But I don't know. This truck, it seems like the fuel gauge is a little bit weird. Like you can have fueled up just you know an hour ago, and it looks like. Yo, you know, you're halfway down to three quarters of a tank already. It's like, it's a bit weird, but oh well. Anyhow, let's make our way to uh, Winnipeg, pick up our load. We got a multiple dropper, and my brakes are a little sticky, so <laughs> every time I step on the brakes, it feels like, <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, that happens. When they wash the truck, I know these these drums they get a little uh, uh, I don't know like rusted not really but they got this thing that I don't know I, it's kind of hard to explain it it looks like rust but it's just starting right and it seems like whenever that happens the brakes seems to grip a little quicker but uh, that's just how it goes I have made it down to uh, Morris uh, Manitoba guys I went down to Winnipeg to go pick up my load and uh, my load wasn't ready right away so I had to wait there a little bit till the load finally got there because the day cab was picking it up right so uh, it wasn't even in the yard yet when I got there so I had to wait there a little bit and then uh, I got down the road and my uh, border crossing wasn't set up yet so uh, I had to wait for that and uh, so I parked here in Morris and uh, sent an after hours message where is my ACI or my ASA is that set up yet right and then about a half an hour later they sent yeah you're good to cross well now I'm parked here for half an hour already so I put myself in the sleeper berth already I said screw it I'm going to bed so now here we are I'm gonna call it a day and We'll uh, continue on tomorrow with our journey, so we'll go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate you guys tuning in my short little vlog here today, and uh, stick around for tomorrow's video, see what we come up with tomorrow. Hopefully you can get across the border tomorrow. And the other thing is, when I finally picked, the, uh, picked this load up, they uh, sent me the load offer, right? Well, they want me to be uh, at the first drop already, at 8 a.m. Uh, not tomorrow morning but the day after tomorrow and it's 1350 kilometers it's like how in the world do you think that's gonna be possible first of all the load gets here late then I get going then you don't have my border crossing set up how do you expect me to be there on time <laughs> yeah oh well that ain't gonna happen I already sent them a message that that ain't gonna happen but whatever that's uh, just uh, out of my control right why do you send us out that late and expect us to be there the next the following day, uh, first thing in the morning, right? You know, like that ain't gonna happen and drive 1,300 kilometers. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stick around for tomorrow's video. Have a great day, everybody.